Uh, let me begin by expressing my appreciation to the witnesses for taking the time to be here today. I know it's not easy, and I want to thank you for being brave and bold and for taking the time to speak up, to speak out, and share your stories. Today, the Oversight Subcommittee will review how the tax code supports hate groups. The code exempts some charitable and educational organizations from paying taxes. Some of these organizations promote hate based on race, gender, religion, sexual orientation, or ethnic background. Their action take the good work of all taxes and organization. Hate is not consistent with the goodwill of our nation and its people. The federal government should not be in the business of financing hate. It's not right. It is not fair. Any tax exempt organization that promotes hate and sows the seeds of violence is one just one too many. Unfortunately, hate is on the rise throughout our country. We have a duty, a mission, and a mandate to ask the question, why? We can no longer avoid this fight. We must be vigilant, and we must take action. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would often remark that darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. As members of the Congress, we must have what I often call an executive session with ourselves. And we must do our part and do it so well that no other person can do it any better. Today's hearing, I ask that members open our ears our hearts and minds to the witnesses who are here to share the real impact of hate. We will hear from a survivor of a mass shooting who lost two of his friends in a deadly attack on the LGBTQ community. We hear from a father who lost his beloved daughter in an attack on women. We hear from a community which lost 22 of its members in an attack on Latino and immigrants. This morning, I ask each and every member of this subcommittee to put our personal politics aside. I ask you to listen to our witnesses with empathy and love. I ask you to think about our role and responsibility to do all we can to stem the cycle of hate and gun violence in our country. Again, I thank all of our witnesses for being here today. I look forward to your testimony. And I'm pleased to recognize the ranking member of this committee, my friend and my brother, Mr. Kelly. Thank you, Chairman.